There is no oversight in our proposal. Another day at the negotiating table with the city of Austin and the Austin Police Association working toward an agreement on a police contract after more than a year without one. Implementation of the voter approved police oversight act continues to be a sticking point. We're not going to agree to somebody can show up, violate the contract and go, got you, you can't do anything about it. Much of that comes down to the so-called G files. Those are the confidential police personnel records and include things like possible complaints made against officers that aren't substantiated. The Police Oversight Act, which Austin voters approved nearly a year ago, calls for an end to the G file. The city's proposal does not mean that personal information is just going to get you know, really nearly released to the public. Our proposal and you know what is also in line with Prop A is reliance on the Texas Public Information Act. Uh, to keep certain personal information private. As for the pace, that's another question itself, and one we asked Austin Police Association President Michael Bullock earlier this month. I'd love to hear you talk about the speed of which we need to get this done and, and the urgency of what you see a timeline looking like for an agreement. Well, I mean, to provide the context, right, the contract has around 23 different articles in it. In our first meeting, we talked through articles one all the way up to 16. Historically, our contract conversations could last anywhere from a year to a year and a half. That contract has not been made public, and under state law, it doesn't have to be, something that was discussed today. It means we likely won't see the nuts and bolts of the contract until both sides come to an agreement. And that is if both sides come to an agreement. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.